TV. Hello, our darling viewers. A great morning to you, a great afternoon to you, and a great evening to you, depending on the time you are watching us right now on our weekly news recap on our darling station, DJM TV. I am Stanley Okocha. I am here to present to you the news that we have presented to you in the course of the week that just went by, as well as analyze each of those news videos. We'll be coming back. Yeah, we are back. Our first news video that we presented to you in the course of this week had to do with the conflict that arose between two senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, the, the news story has to do with uh, the conflict between Senator Siriake Dixie of Bayesa State and Senator Aisha Dairu of Adawama State. Now, the conflict started when Senator Aisha Dairu compared a local government area with the old state in Bayesa State. Now, that does, did not go down well with Senator Siriake Dixon, who is from Bayesa State. Now, let's present this news video. We'll be coming back to analyze it. Now, Sidious began with the ninth shelf for inside the National Assembly yesterday. Sake of say, the senator, when they stand, stand for Bayesa West Senatorial Area, when he named be Senator Siraki Dixie, and the senator, when he be say they stand, stand for the Adamawa Central Senatorial Area, when he named CB Senator Ashetu Dairu, come get down for inside the National Assembly. According to our Torima, when stand up for inside the National Assembly, as the begin begin the shell, he has said the Kasala boss boss inside the meet meet. When he be say all the senators been they do. According to our Tory man, the begin begin when he be say Senator Dairu go yan something when not sweet the belly of Senator Sirak Ken Dixon. Second say the senator from Mubi West go yan say the number of people when he be say then they inside Mubi be two million eighty nine thousand five hundred and forty people and. When plenty, plenty pass past the old people, when they be say, then they for inside full bias state. He come here and join say, the old people, when they there for inside the eight local government area, when they for inside bias state, now 1,704,515 people. As Senator Dairu, they use and make example, he come here for a mouth say, this town when be mobi, when don't they say, well, I when they say it day, even though it day big big pass by a state, when get 1,704,515 and 50, 515 people for inside the state, sake of say, now 2,089,540 people, now they day for inside Mubi, and these people know they get get federal government presence for their side, sake of say, they not get federal at health center for inside there. This one when Senator Dairu Yan, especially during BC, can't go measure by his estate, converse first Senator Sedake Dixie, who come quick quick stand up and come they argue with Senator Dairu, say all the land and the water when he be say they de for his by his big pass pass some of the state when he be say they de say Niger. The PDP Senator come Yan join say, make Senator Dairu Yan within the Yan, but making no time use. By as a state, when it be your own state, come them do do example for inside the National Assembly. He come here and say, this one, he not just like him at all at all. For the Senator Dixie Mouth, for my senatorial area, he go take me four days to take do do work I pass all the area. For my own local government area, when it be say, it be Sagba my local government area, he go take me correct three days to take work I pass him. I just feel they make I get up to teach the person when we say they bring bring this be come for our front when be Senator Dairu and I believe say I the yam for the rest of the people when it therefore inside Niger our country when people they yayan for number of people when they inside any place make them they to do with keke sake of say if you go deep deep and ask ask people when they do do count count of people. Who they do the check check for waiting them they can't count and how they take the do do they can't count. Now yeah, the Senate President for Niger, when he name be Senator Ahmad Lawa, come quick quick stop stop Senator Siraki Dixon. Make him no go put put bad bad mind for the matter. For the Senate President mouth, 
If they clear clear, say make a guide guide everybody for their contribution made inside any point. You don't yam yam your point, but based on our standing rule for inside the house, make we not they use use but bad mind to choke them out for waiting our colleagues. They yam. The discussion meant when it day for granted now, not before the number of people when it be say them they inside by us, sir, or the can count when it be say them do do for inside by us, sir, or any other place before before. Make we put put eye and put put mouth for the matter when it be say how them go take build build the federal medical center for any place for Niger. I agree say many many questions go come out, but I think say the main the main thing when they say they for grand. And based on the standing general rule and the cocoa, when we say it devil inside the bill. But again, August Edeke Dixon comes this stand put for in point. Say, go say, income see yam for in mouth. Say, debate plus waiting there for our mind for inside the chamber. Now, waiting we must today do do with really fat when make sense. Say, go say, not be the one when it be say, Senator Dairu, go they use. Use people when it be say them can count number when not correct. Take the yayan waiting him want make federal government do do for the place when it be say in the stand for for inside the air. For Senator Sirake Dixon mouth again, I only stand up to teach them the good good part and the bad bad part when they inside the bill and to make them know say the example when it they use get big big fault fault and make we for remove them. This one not be fat fat sake of say. He not the correct person. No, will just stand up. So go say he want something. He make they do for him. Go come begin. They use fat fat when they be say not correct. Take the yarn against another place. Now that place not be the ververs me when they make me stand up before. So if correction met day, I not go stand up. You not good like that. Say person go they use can't count. Take the talk waiting. He want make them do for him. Again, Senate president. Ahmad Lawan comes to correction met Senator Dixon. Make make him not reduce met the debate to answer and answer to question question when he be say people they yarn. For Senator Lawan, mouth again, I then sure say that one not the way you take and end your argument. And make a yarn join say when you get the opportunity like this one. If you feel and no say error day, waiting any senator they yarn, you go first bring them come out. And young we had our correction go there and we go correct them quick quick. We don't need to come the reducement the debate to our own answer and question time. You'll be there the House of Representatives before before you can see even become governor. I they sure say you know know how we take the wrong wrong things for inside the air. We know they put put bad bad mind for debate or contribution made or intervention made when it be say our colleague them they make. After all the bege bege and the draw draw and draw draw, when the be say is shelle between Senator Siriake Dixon and Senator Dairu, the Senate come pass pass the bill when be the cost cost bege for the two senators for second reading after the senators don't do do voice vote. Country people, now here our story for break leg on top this time based on waiting shelle for inside the National Assembly. Welcome back. Now let's look at the video critically. Now to start with, Senator Aisha Dairu had to compare her own local government, local government, not a state. And now she is comparing that a local government with a whole state, a state that has about eight local government. Now to me, it was too harsh. Instead of comparison, she would have just gone straight to the point by asking what she wanted the government to do for the for, for the local government she is representing instead of comparing and on the part of Syria K. Dixon, I feel it was too harsh with the way he went with it. So he would have also gone in a more matured way that would have made Aisha Dairu to understand what actually went what actually she should do before uh, 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 presenting whatever she wants the government to do for our constituency. Uh, but the, by and large, the way the Senate President, uh, Mr. Ahmed Lawal, and the old matter showed maturity on his part. Our second news video we presented to you in the course of this week that just went by had to do with the call made 
by the former vice president of Nigeria, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who called on Nigerians to help the country Nigeria by helping ourselves. Now, to him, every advice that is given to the present government of Pres uh, President Muhammad Buhari is seen as being criticized, criticizing the government, as seen as you not looking at the, uh, the, the good part of the government. So in other words, the present government sees every advice given to them as a condemnation of their government. But by and large, it is something that every citizen needs to do. When the government is going um, the wrong path, it is good that the citizens call the, uh, the, gov the government to the right path. Now let's present this, the video. We'll be coming back to really analyze it. Before, before Vice President of Ninja, when he named the allergy article Abubakar, don't young come and say Ninja people must to help themselves to take help Ninja sake of say the President Muhammad Dubuari government need help. For one information paper, when get the title, the world IS people when not get work number, the time to help this government to take help Ninja now. now. The before before Vice President Yan say if Ninja people Elep the president Muhammad Buhari government, it means say uh, na Ninja people they elep themselves. In come see complain. Say instead of the president Muhammad Buhari government to they listen listen to correct wisdom advice, them go begin to they read read bad bad meaning to any idea and suggestions when it be say people they give give them. The PDP President contestant for the 2019 president vote vote for 2019 comes in and joins say the cause cause of crime number went down increment to big 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 high number to sake of say many many people for inside Naja no get work work when it be say them they do do for in mouth as intake talk right time I never feel feel bad like this before before sake of the information when it be say the Bloomberg business. Just young come out say Nigeria country when go come out as the highest country when get people when they be say they not get work for the old world with just small nine intake worker pass thirty three percent. We first one one on top of this one, but the repeat repeat one one when myself and other correct people for inside Nigeria do the government no mind them. Then turn them to laugh laugh matter, but see now. All Niger take retreat here, so we reach this level. Sake of say we live live leadership when get focus focus for the Niger people and free free trade and the deregulation meant arrange of the president of Basanjo government when it be said then be arranged down when be make us maintain one digit people when not get work number and to do this credit commandment and control control decidement when come make make pogiri they fly fly come out for niger and with small small pogiri we come see they continue they gather gather government plan plan put for inside areas when it be say they're not supposed on these areas now place where we be say we supposed live live for the private people when they do do business when when go come make them handle the thing weller the latest one now, now the proper adv advisement of $1.5 billion pogri when it be said and give the government to take the arrangement the protocol place place when it be said for the cuckoo patrol. When don't fail, fail and not give, give gain gain for many, many years. Within this president, Mama Dubwari government must no no be say the security matter when it be said they get get, get get for inside Niger. Now sake of say many many young young people when they for inside Niger no get work when it be say them they do do. Sake of say person when no get work now the worst worst thing be that sake of say the muscle and power when the person is supposed to use to take do do production of things it will come they use them take the scatter scatter. Things when it be say it not come make Ninja come get peace again. Now this one now come make Ninja come be number three for country when it be say it come get terrorism for inside the old world. We don't reach reach the place as one country and the truth be say everybody when get meant for Ninja and all the and all the before before leaders must come out now to come yah yah for this correct time before it go come there too late late to take save save Ninja. The Buari government no get the mind, muscle and power to take bring bring solution made for all the wala when it be say Nigeria they face face now. 
and we must help them, not be for the sake of the government, but for the sake of all the people where they there for inside Niger. For how to take and find solution meant on top of the wala when Niger they face first now, allergy article come reject the plan plan when it be said the federal government of Niger get get to spend 1.5 billion dollar pogri to take rearrangement the potato petrol cuckoo place. And income see young join say now private people nine go better to run run the place well uh, when it be say better get gain could come they come out. For allergy article Abu Bakar mouth again the went take right the information paper as a country we go they better better to sell, sell all the different different place place when it be say them for the cuckoo patrol and the NMPC plus the NMG test test arrangement when give give federal government of Niger 49 percent equal equal share and the private people go come get get 51 percent of their own share remember say for 20 years when end for inside 2020 the Niger liquefied natural gas when be NLNG feed gather and bring bring 18.3 billion dollar pogri gain gain and that one not join joint task task and many many alawi when it be said the country come gain gain for inside that one this one not go only free free the government for the too much spend spent where of pogri when it, they spend any help it go still clean clean the infrastructure mates why yo why yo when be say it they inside the downstream area and the young this one sake of say now the quick quick way to take draw draw down the number of people when we say they don't get work for inside niger this one go make government come put more buggery for inside school matter sake of say now people when it be say them go school now them they feed get work and even arrange work for other people to come see get Science don't teach teach us say now school they reduce crime crime and insecurity. Picking and mama bye bye and even bring buggery for inside life. For the side of the seven hundred and seventy four thousand special work work for Niger people, the retired custom oga come press press the federal government for of Niger, but income quick quick yan say make them not abuse and scatterize them. Still for a mouth, we must gather all those young people when it be said they don't pass past ah, school age, put for one big, big public work arrangement. The federal government of Niger, when it be said, President Mamadou Bwari, now they lead them for this time, be talk talk say, them gets, they don't arrange 774,000 special public work for young, young people when it be said they start for inside January 2021. This one, now good, good step. But make them do them well, not be just to the yanam come out for mouth and nothing go they happen for ground. Maybe we go go copy copy the Malaysia RNG where they remove our specialist work, then no come allow made foreign contractors to they bring bring labor come from outside the country, come the enter inside their country. And we go need to do, do these three things quick quick when it be say I want young Nigeria people so. One, Niger must wake up and go one single exchange rate. When it be say, now the market things, now go make them the shelly like that. The second one, the federal government of Niger and the state government must also reduce my tasks to come make, make Niger business different friend. And finally, finally, Pogri as a place like the Central Bank of Niger and the Security and Exchange Commission must free, free themselves for politics when go concern and cause cause the stop stuff of Bitcoin and even crypto pogri. For the situation meant where it can't be say we be the headquarters of poor, poor people, headquarters for the school children when not they go school, and the country when it be said then get get the highest people when we say they don't get work for the old world. This one now big big and very very serious begin with gay now with the enter so. Plus, say this one fit come land us for the number one for state when it be say it don't fail for inside the number. But this one, God go forbid. Now, so article Abubakar Yana. Yeah, we're back. Now, looking at the call made by um Alaji article Abubakar, is a right call, is a patriotic call. Now, no man is an island of knowledge, everyone may look. But we may see differently. So it is better for the present government of President Muhammadu Buhari to always listen to the voice of reasoning. 
You never can tell. Somebody's advice can be used and it will make things better. So when Nigerians call or they give advice, it is better the government have a listening ear so that they can take corrections or do what the uh, citizens really want for them. So that is it. Now, the third video we presented to you in the course of the week has to do with the call made by the Deputy Senate President of the Nigerian Senate, Senator Ovie Omo Agege, who said Nigerians may not vote for APC in the 2023 general elections because of the promises some of them made and never kept. In the same story, we had the PDP spokesman, Mr. Kola Olobodino, also telling the APC to forget about the, their dream of winning the elections come 2023. Now let's present this, the next video. We'll be coming back to analyze. Yes, so the Tory when he did now be say the deputy senate president for the Nigeria National Assembly when he named be Senator Ovi Omo Agege don't correction the All Progressive Congress when they be APC make them not make the kind mistake when he be say the People's Democratic Party when be PDP make before the 2015 general vote vote when he come make them lose lose the 2015 vote vote. Senator Omo Agege yan this one as in the yan yan for one All Progressive. Congress South South Area Village Square Table Table Talk Talk meet when the BC them do do for inside Asaba. In Yan say, Nigeria people not go vote vote for the for all the people when the BC they go submission themselves for under the All Progressive Congress for the 2023 general vote vote when go the shelly for inside Nigeria. If all the people when the BC them there for their party and they there for power now come fail to do, do the things when the BC them promise promise Nigeria people before before. For Senator Ovio Omo Agege mouth as him take Yana, history they call, call our great party. Now the first, the first time when he be say the political party, when he be say he dey for opposition, go come remove the political party, when he be say he sit down get the bar on top power. For inside the life of our country, Niger. My fellow fellow country people and party men, if they good good make we remember and say the People's Democratic Party will be PDP with full mind both both say them go day for seat of power and rule Niger for 60 years. It come take one strong resolvement and determination meant of the people of the country to take scatterize the mind mind and energy when the People's Democratic Party beget. Now the big big lesson they when be say we must to learn from that thing and we must go must to put put down for inside our head and my mind and continuation to the think about them well well. Income quick quick still young young join say Ninja don't grow grow well well for inside political matter. For the deputy president mouth mouth again, Ninja people don't show show say them don't reach reach the age of political matureness. So politicians and political party must do they make sure say them they do do all the promise promise when they be saying that they promise them or them go face face the kind of remover when it shall for inside 2015. Even though this one we must we must give give politicians the right right place place for them to take to do their promise promise. Now this one, be why we must come provision one work work guide guide a book when it be say be constitution when we go the when it go be say we go the use take the arrangement both the res responsibleness and obligationness of party men men and party women women and their right right and privilege men. The deputy senate president come quick quick at add say make the party get get guide every time when it be say na constitution. When he be say he go get the people for my mind, for him out as he take he and join him, as we they work work, the APC must position themselves for one way when he be say he go come be say Nigeria people no go fit come resistance their beauty by the 20, time 2023 general vote vote go come and reach. The deputy president senior president comes in rechargement the constitution reviewment committee make them consider me all the area area. When it be say it the cause cause begay begay for inside the constitution before and make the come make sure say they arrange them well to come make sure all those kind begay no go the shell again. Again for a mouth as in take yana, the first for me now to really orderly arrange the constitution to give better power and better movement 
to all the different organogram when you see the day inside the party plus clear, clear area when you see them go to do, do their work work another one be say make we share, share power go reach, reach the grass grass root when you be say our party day today our party they boast boast of 12 million ninja people when you see the strong giddy bar and still they grow grow for inside our party matter so the condition review go need to give give particular work work to the zone zone part part of the party so that power go come workament go reach the world world level now there we go come really dig the bar for ground for inside niger and by the time the 2023 general vote vote go come reach you go see say niger people go come stand the bar and make sure say the all progressive congress apc will be our party go come win win the election correctly and can't be still for on top politics matter for inside niger the People's Democratic Party, when it be said them be PDP, don't yan say the boss boss when the All Progressive Congress, APC, the boss boss, say them go there for seat of power for another 26 years, now big big begay when it be said them they pulled for the face of all the Niger people. The party yan say, the APC, yan yan say them go, they don't registration, 36 million Niger people put join their party for the registration when it be said them they do, now big lie lie when it be say them, it be like light gallon when not carry any water for inside at all at all. According to the PDP talk talk person, when his name be Mr. Kola Ologbodinho, in yan say the party no say the APC National Caretaker Committee Chairman, when his name be my Malabuni Jan, something like that, sake of say, in believe say the APC go use use force force, take bege bege the independent national electoral commission when the INEC and the judiciary and the security people and even use use bad bad people when they, they carry kalash when they busy them go bring bring for inside the countries when they busy them near niger to take help them change change the mind mind of niger people for the 2023 vote vote time for mr kola ologbodi your mouth for puni wayo wayo gbt mind make niger people ready themselves for another 26 years begay begay pain pain hungry belly bye bye and so far so far this one at the highest talk talk anyhow no human feeling and cause cause for the senses for the Niger people body. The PDP con advisement to the APC make them stop stop the post post and wake up from their sleep sleep. So of say Niger people don't decide me say the APC rule rule for Niger go and end for the 2023 vote vote. For Mr. Kola Ologbodi your mouth again. Governor Buni and in people when they visit them they travel together for inside the illegal APC National Caretaker Committee must to know say Niger not be their own personal property or the property of any group when they be say it the hungry for power for inside Niger. The APC supposed no say Niger people never see this kind of suppression and concurrent sake of any political interest before and they no go want to see them again. In fact, Niger people don't know now. And then don't more than before, don't ready can't be plus prepare where where to take resistance or the plan plan energy when it be say the APC one use used to take force force them against their mind to take remain for seats of power. If to say our country go fit go go for inside mid mid term vote vote, the APC no go fit get 20% of all the vote vote when it be say Niger people go vote. So make APC stop stop the yan yan when it be say them the yan yan to Niger people face like say Niger people be people will not get voice, mind and hope again. The People's Democratic Party when the PDP come quick quick at ad say Niger people don't get ready to take deal with APC and give them one better big blow for the 2023 vote vote when go come back by the APC finally sake of say the APC not go fit to stay for power for time when go pass past 2023 sake of say Niger people don't decide them even before that time go reach so Mr. Kola Olobodion can advise the APC make them just remain for one place make them keep themselves for one place sake of say Niger people don't decide their matter even before 2023 go reach we are back now let's look at it. Now the statement credited to the Deputy Senate President is a right call. Now, 
most politicians always make promise. They knew right from the beginning that they would not keep. Now, and the only way the, the citizens will want to speak is during the election. So any politician that doesn't fulfill every prom any promise made, when the election comes, definitely the citizens will speak. Then on the part of the PDP spokesman, Mr. Kola Ologodio, what he said is also on the right track. Remember, he is speaking for his party. In fact, he is the image maker of his party. So every political party needs opportunity which they can capitalize on to ensure that they win when election comes and control government. That is the essence of any opposition party and the spokesperson for that matter. Now, he has spoken and he is trying to buy the hearts of Nigeria ahead the 2023 election to ensure that at the end of it all, they get the sympathy of Nigerians and their party is returned back to power. With that news analysis, we have come to the end of this week's news recap and analysis. I want to thank you for all the time you spent with us watching us all this period. And we equally want to ask you to please like. Our first news video that was presented in the course of the week has to do with the news coming from Edo State. Now, the first part of the, of the story has to do with the governor warning and appealing to security agencies in Nigeria to stop their men from extorting and intimidating the Nigerian citizens. Why the second part of the new story had to do with the um, civil society group who were out to protest the high cost of cement and other um, building materials, but they were unfortunately locked up in the National Museum ground and prevented from carrying out their protest by the Nigerian police. Now let's present the new story to you when we come back to our lives. The governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Nogagase Obaseki, has charged security agencies in the country to uplift their intelligence gathering mechanism in order to boost their response to security challenges currently facing the country. Governor Obaseki gave this charge today while receiving the commandant of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Mr. Adam George, and the Customs Area Controller in charge of Edo and Delta State, Ahmed Usman, who paid him a courtesy visit in Government House in Benin City. Mr. Obaseki praised the security agencies for their continued dedication and commitment in the protection of the lives and properties of Nigerians and urged them to always be professional in the course of carrying out their job. In the words of Governor Obaseki, I want to sincerely thank you for a job well done during the last Ash Ensas crisis. I know the challenges you faced in your warehouse and all you did to ensure that there were no loss of lives. I want to appreciate your men for their ability to remain calm during the incident. Again, I know men of the NSCDC did very, very well in helping to respond to that very, very ugly incident. We in Edo State see ourselves as part of the Federation. We want to support the work of the federal government of Nigeria. The present economic challenges is forcing everyone to look for other alternative means and innovative ways to carry out their duties. We know your men have been working hard. We see them on the checkpoints every time, but at times they have been a little bit of intimidation and excesses from their part. We would like to appeal to your men not to intimidate and extort innocent traders and people, but we must commend them for doing their job, if done patriotically. You know our state, Edo, is a business hub where people must pass through, and our role as a government is to create an enabling environment so that people are not afraid to come and do their business here. Let your men know that as they are doing their job, they must respect the rights of the citizens. And more importantly, they should not intimidate the citizens, neither should they arouse any of them. He further appealed to the NSCDC commandant to assist the government in training the state agro rangers and forest guards and the vigilante networks in the state to enable them to have the required expertise and professionalism to carry out their job. He also said this will go a long way to enhance the protection of the forest reserves in the state from illegal loggers. 
Earlier, the Customs Area Controller, Mr. Ahmed Usman, praised Governor Godwin Obasaki for the tremendous work his government is doing on the Gelegele Seaport, stating that the Nigeria Customs Service hopes to go into partnership with the Edo State government for a better Edo State. On his part, the NSCDC Commandant praised Governor Godwin Obasaki for all his support he has given to his men in the states. In the area of moral boost, which has helped them in fighting crime wherever they are called upon. He further asked for more support from the state government to enable them complete their office, which is still under construction, particularly the perimeter fencing. In another news, a mild drama played out in the early hours of today as men of the Nigerian police, Edo State Command in Benin City, locked up the entrance to the National Museum in Ring Road, Benin City following a planned protest organized by the agreed civil society groups in the state. The protesters who gathered at the National Museum, the takeoff point for their proposed protest against the high cost of fuel, cement and other building materials in the state, when the police came and locked up the gates leading to the National Museum, leaving the protesters stranded inside the museum ground. Speaking with our reporter who was on ground, on the museum ground, one of the leaders of the protesters and former student union government, SUG president of the University of Benin, whose name is Comrade Ogbidi Osemudiame, said all the demand from the government is to set up a task force within 40 days to look into their grievances, which are for government to stop the monopoly of cement production in the country and a quick reduction in the cost of cement, building materials, and fuel price. He further said failure to do all this by the government, that will lead them with no other option than to mobilize market women, men, builders, artisans, and every citizen of the state to protest on what he called no unfavorable living conditions. In Comrade Ogwidi's words, if after 14 days the government fails to address the urgent issues we have raised, they should wait for, for us. This ugly, unbearable experience must stop. How can Edo, with a very high deposit of limestone in its domain, be experiencing this difficulty? How do you expect us to buy a bag of cement for 4,000 naira, while in the north it is sold for less, and even in other parts of Nigeria it is even sold for more or less? This is ridiculous. How can cement be sold higher in some part of one particular country and less? in other parts of the same country. Enough is enough. It's either the government do our bidding or they leave us with no option than to call out majority of the masses into the streets for a protest. That will be massive, that it will shake the foundation of this nation. Other prominent civil activists that were present in the planned protest were Mazizkola Edopayi, Kelly Omokau, and a host of others. All the protesters unanimously passed a vote of no confidence on the state police commissioner of Edo State, Mr. Philip Obadu, who they accused of allegedly responsible for the deployment of his officers to do the bidding of the higher powers that be, thereby locking them up inside the museum ground. In their words, we want to state categorically that since we cannot buy a bag of cement for 4,000 naira, we cannot also buy a liter of fuel for over 160 naira. Otherwise, the president should resign. We have given them 14 day ultimatum to address these issues. If the 14 days elapses and there is no favorable response from the government, we will have no option than to call out all our sundry in the state for a massive protest. As at the time of filing this report, calls put across to the police public relations officer of the Edo State Command, Superintendent of Police Kotongs Bello, was unsuccessful as calls put to him by our news reporter was neither picked nor returned. However, the protesters left the museum ground on oath and promised that after the 14 days, nothing is still done, they will have no option than to return to the streets for a continuation of 
their protest until the monopoly in the production of cement is broken. Thanks for staying tuned. Now, let's analyze. Now, the governor of Edo State, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, actually is trying to protect the citizens by making that statement. Indeed, there are certain persons in, this, in the security agencies who are just out to extort and intimidate the Nigerian citizens. No, we know quite well they are good ones also, but it's, the call the governor made is on track in the sense that he is trying to remind the leadership of the Nigerian security agencies to watch out for those bad eggs and try to flush them out of the system, or rather talk to them to avoid intimidating as well as harassing the Nigerian citizens. On the part of the civil society, what the police uh, did was going against the rights of the citizens. Now, it is in the constitution that every citizen has the right to protest on any grievance they may feel, provided it is peacefully and not violently. Now, this group were not reported to be violent. They were reported to be peaceful, trying to add their grievance to the government based on the monopoly of cement production in Nigeria, as well as the high cost of the cement in Edo State, as well as other building materials. Now, what the police should have done was to come there and make sure that the protest is peaceful. So it is only when it becomes violent that maybe they may decide to use force. But they locking them up inside the museum ground when the protesters were ready to protest peacefully, it was like preventing them from um, carrying out their civic right, which is protest when you feel any grievance. All right, so that is for that. With that news analysis, we have come to the end of this week's news recap and analysis. I want to thank you for all the time you spent with us watching us all this period. And we equally want to ask you to please like, share, comment on this news analysis we just brought to you this week. We equally want to beg you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is DJM TV. Until next time, we'll be coming your way again with another news recap and news analysis. I remain your host, Stanley Okocha for DJM TV. Thanks for watching. God bless you. DJ TV.